This morning we enter Komodo National Park. We're anchored off Rincha Island, one of the two major islands in the park. Here we are. We've been warned that it's breeding season and the big dragons are in the hills. An eagle looks us over, probably thinking there may be some scraps left over after the dragons are done with us. I hope this concrete dragon isn't the only one we'll see. Not to worry, about a hundred yards past the entrance, there it is. Dragons usually weigh about 150 pounds, but they can eat 80% of their body weight in a single meal. These rangers will take us back into the hills armed only with forked sticks and knowledge of dragon behavior. The dragons are attracted to the cooking smells around the rangers cabins. The largest verified dragon was 10 feet 3 inches long and weighed 370 pounds. These little guys are six or seven feet long and close to 100 pounds. We're here in the early morning and the dragons are just warming up. They look docile, but they can run 12 miles an hour over short distances. That look is to remind us who the top of the food chain is around here. This three-year-old stays in the trees because the larger dragons will eat him. This is a dragon nest. The clutch of 20 eggs takes seven or eight months to incubate. This little year-old dragon has a long way to go to get to 150 pounds. Timor deer are a favorite food for large dragons. The rangers are taking us through the dry forest and into the hills. Rincha Island supports 1,300 dragons of the four to 5,000 in the world. We take a break and consider the remains of earlier dragon meals. We only spot one dragon in the forest. We head back down to the ranger station and the dock. The dragons we saw earlier at the ranger's cabins are more active now. We get a taste test, dragon style. When the dragons start to look at you like a buffet, it's time to go. Our rangers are smiling. It's a good day. No tourists eaten. Yet. Wow, that was neat. How can we top that? How about the best snorkeling so far around this little island?
What a day. Dragons, sailing, a beautiful coral reef. What next? Dinner on the beach. But before that, the captain has ordered up another beautiful sunset for our pleasure. While the crew entertains us, the chef puts the finishing touches on dinner. Not being shy, we queue for food. We sit back and enjoy the good cooking and the crew's entertainment. Amir tries to give us dance lessons, but we just sit back and enjoy the evening.